that was why we did not start the free SHS the way this government had. You are doing it progressively free. You are studying the situation. You are reviewing what are the issues. Immediately, nobody needs to tell you you need more schools. Because mm. all you need is to go to the data and find out. So of the children who read BC, what percentage passes? That's number one. Yeah. Out of those who pass, what percentage goes? Then find out from all the schools, what are their spaces? They were all bursting at the seams to begin with. So the places were full. Mm -hmm. We expanded under John Dramani Mahama, we expanded 125 schools. Okay, that's expansion. That is new, new buildings, assembly hall, whatever, library, science labs, and so new. Then another 50 for renovation, serious ones. Okay. Then another 175 for quality improvement. So let's say the science lab is there already, mm -hmm. but what's inside? Okay. Okay. Is the equipment up to date and so on and so forth? Do they have a lab technician? Is he trained? These are very important things. If you say it's a technical school, they may have the workshop. And when you enter and there's a bench with a very tired, rusted something at the end of it, nobody needs to tell you that children are not learning much. You need to go and retool the place, all of which we did. Okay, so because then just to talk about the numbers would have been fanciful, but we didn't think that was enough. So we did all of that under GM, mm -hmm. okay? And that also, of course, to build new ones. You can only expand the existing ones so far. And if you put too many of the children of this age in one school, you are not helping the school management at all. Mm -hmm. So you need to cap it at some, some level. And the figures are there, okay, to cap it there. So when you say there are problems, of course, there are problems all the time. But, the pro but you don't solve one problem to create 20 more, which is exactly what is happening. Okay.